Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Last time we left off, we found uh, the final piece for Alan, and we made it, so that was cool. What is this new blueprint we got? What is this? Oh, a prone suit propulsion cannon, yeah. Still haven't made that. Still have not made that. Okay. I feel like if we're seeing it so much down here, we might need to make it. But uh, there were a couple of things I did want to take care of. So another thing I wanted to do was... Uh, I've been forgetting and putting off building the command room for a very long time. So I think we're just going to go ahead and build one here. Control room, sorry. Alright, so advanced wiring kit, glass, titanium. Do I have what I need for an advanced wiring kit? I mean, how much silver do I have? Okay, I have a pretty good amount of silver. And then we need... a computer chip, right? So, table coral... and copper... wiring kit. What, what was the other thing we needed? Oh yeah, copper wire, right? Yeah, gold and copper wire. Alright, so gold... We can grab the other copper out of here to make some copper wire. Sounds good to me. And computer chip. And then I still wish you, uh, they, they didn't implement that in this game, but I still wish you could just like, uh, click on advanced wiring kit and it would make everything you needed for an advanced wiring kit, assuming you have the things in your inventory. It would make this process just a lot faster, but that's, that's just a convenience. All right, so we needed four titanium and glass. Why did I mark a computer chip? Why did I, why did I do that? Oh my God, now I gotta unpin all. There we go, that's a, I, I haven't noticed that button before. That's very useful. All right, we needed four titanium and some glass. So that's not bad. Bam. All right, uh, the question is, are we out of titanium? Well, you see, that poses a problem because we need more titanium. Was there a titanium thing around here? It sure would be dandy if there was, because we need enough to make an eye connector. Oh, well, there's some of that. Yeah, we're, we're running low on titanium. As always. Okay, is that a- no. I got two. Is that enough for an eye connector? I don't rightly remember. Oh well. I, I, I think that's enough for an eye connector. No, get over there. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna build it right here. Yep. Boom. Yeah, it just takes two titanium. Cool. Uh, now 5.5. .5. Alright, please don't destroy my base's integrity. We have five. Can that be good enough, please? In the controlled room, you can change base okay. lighting and colors, rename your base, and see information about power and structural integrity, but not the integrity of societal power structures. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for that. Okay, so here we go, the control room. So, base. Um, let's see, uh, I don't, I don't know what I would name my base besides refuge. Um, Gerald's, uh, Leviathan. Oh god, I was gonna put Leviathan house. I can't even fit dog house, can I? No. Um, base name. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna name it. I mean, if I kept up my naming scheme, it would be quasi something. Quasi. Refuge. Get it? Okay. So that may seem boring at first, but if we look at the if we look at the uh, 
definition for quasi, I, I do believe it means like, uh, kind of a refuge, which makes sense because I'm down here in incredibly dangerous land. Um, and yeah, we got Gerald right outside the door. So yeah, it's a quasi refuge. It's not quite, uh, safe. Wait, that thing's not connected? What is that? Oh, wait, no, that's just saying what room I'm in right now? Is that what that's saying? That one's like glowing yellow. Maybe, maybe just the command room's always yellow. See the time, the structural integrity, we got four, the power status. Okay, this is very useful, especially for keeping track of the power. You can see how much you're uh, actually gaining and everything and how much you're losing. So we're, we're pretty good on power. All right, well, what do we want our base to look like? Uh, the base color, as we've said, as we went over before, I like purple. Uh, our stripe will be... How about green? I, I like the, like, ultraviolet look. Can you, can you please? Okay, thank you. I like the, like, ultraviolet look. So we get, like, a good neon green going here. Like slightly darker. Okay, I want more like, I guess that. And then stripe two. You can be. I'm thinking black. And then the name, is uh for sure. Eh, we'll just we'll just keep it white. How about that? Done. Okay, so there we go. The inside doesn't get painted, so it must just be the outside. Navigate mini-map. Power status. Whoa, that's cool. That is very cool. Disable section. Okay, that's neat. Well, that's neat. Yeah, this is a cool little room. I'm glad they added this. Glad they added this. It's cool to be able to uh, customize your base as well. I thought that's where, like, upgrade modules would go, but I guess there's not really any upgrade modules. All right. So there we go, we got ourselves a uh, command room now, and go out here and look, aha! Look at our beautiful, beautiful base that you can barely see it's purple, because we're in purple. It looks more like blue and yellow. <laughs> it looks more blue and yellow to me. Alright, well, whatever. We made that. Uh, someone also mentioned, uh, a couple of people actually mentioned the room partitions as well. But I actually like the big open room we have going on here. Um, I did say I was going to consider partitioning off you. What, what does it actually require, the room partition? Uh, it requires a titanium that I don't have. It requires a titanium that I don't have, unfortunately. I was going to say I, I could partition off uh, you so that the reactor wasn't looking all ugly in our room. But, uh, when I get a titanium, I'll do that. So... I think that's pretty much all we wanted to do. I'm not currently scanning. Not currently scanning. Let's scan for Gerald. Where you at, Gerald? Okay, he's over there. Cool. So, um... Do I take the sea truck again, or do I just run with our prawn? It'll be a lot faster if I take the sea truck. Where is the sea truck? Up there. It'll be a lot faster if I take the sea truck, so let's just take the sea truck, I guess. Hopefully we can evade Gerald pretty easily with the sea truck and any other Leviathan that we may run into. Because there is a uh, Sherald out there too. Sherald's uh, a little bit further past Gerald. Okay, so Exo Quasi, come to me. But yeah, I, I like the name I actually chose, the Quasi Refuge, because it is it is actually not a refuge <laughs> at all. It's it's pretty dangerous actually, because uh, yeah, our, our our boy is right over there. Okay, so enter sea truck. All right, and let's just stay as far away from you as possible. What are you doing? Where are you at? A bit intimidated, because you seem like you're, like, right there. Yeah, you're, like, just about to go by, aren't you? You're, like, just about to go by. 
Or are you just chilling in one spot, it looks like? Making your way downtown? Walking fast? Something something, you're homebound? What are you doing, man? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There's there's daddy's boy. Alright, now kindly go away, please. Go away. Yeah. That way. Over there. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Gerald's a good boy. Yes, he is. Alright. So, over this way. We're just gonna keep going over here. Preferably past that point we saw the last time to see if we can maybe find an another point. Oh god, he's he's close. Gerald, how did you get over here so fast? Son, please don't do this. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you, he does. Oh, he's coming around. We just gotta... Does he see me? I don't know if he sees me. I'm just gonna sneak past you, buddy. No need for alarm. We're good. We're good. Okay, we snuck past him. Cool. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, I meant to build the... Propulsion arm, because they're throwing them all over the place here, so I feel like... They probably want us to have it. <sighs> Shit. Like, if they're putting them all over the place here, they probably want us to grab their propulsion arm, right? There's also some titanium right here that I would like to mine. But, uh, we're also not trying to die to, uh, Gerald. There's also that. So we just gotta keep an eye on him, because he should be coming, like, right around here sometime. But I need this titanium. Yeah, they're putting the propulsion arms here so often that... I feel like we're gonna get to this fabrication facility place and it's gonna be like, You need the propulsion arm! And I'm gonna be very sad because then I'm gonna have to go all the way back to base and build it. Storage has no room. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's fine. I'll just pick it up, I guess. What, what, are, you, what are you full of? Oh, you're full of- oh, yeah, you got- yeah, you got all our shit. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Um... Alright, well, let's just, uh, keep going and I'll just pick up the shit. But yeah, simply because they're putting all these propulsion arms here, I'm like, they must be putting them here for a reason, right? Right. So I'm a little worried, I'll be honest. But... It's- it's a little far back to base, right? And we gotta go past Gerald again. Hmm... What- what do we actually need to make it? Let me- let me see that. Maybe that'll, uh... Help me decide if I should do it or not. Uh... Propulsion arm. I completely forgot about it. I have everything for that now, especially that I've got the titanium. I couldn't have made it anyway because I didn't have the titanium. Alright, let's just head back. Let's just head back, and we'll make that... Are you coming? Oh, I think you're coming. Yeah, you're there. Mm. Are you looping around here? Are you gonna come around this side? I don't remember. Or are you gonna go around over there? I don't remember. Okay, I think- I think we're good. If I just go now. He's- he's not the fastest, Gerald. He's big, but he's not that swift. So I think we're good. I got this horsepower upgrade for this bad boy, so... I think I can outrun it? I think. I'm not positive, but I think. Alright, so we go back over here, we build the prawn suit arm. And then, um, we can go back. But wait. Oh god, we gotta build the arm in a moon pool. 
which I do not have. I do not have a moon pool. Um. Hmm. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? Uh. All right. What did a moon pool require? Don't remember. Titanium ingots. Lubricate and lead. Do I lubricate? Okay, we have enough lead. If we didn't have that, I was... <laughs> that was gonna be bad. Um... Shit, I left most of the titanium in... Exo Quasi. Fuck! Uh... Do we have some titanium in here, maybe? I don't even think then I had enough. Open storage. You're all empty, right? No, you're not. You're not empty. What do you- what do you- no, stop. What do you got? Nickel. Sulfur and shit. Okay, well, nothing useful. Hmm, alright, let me- let me just grab some titanium really quick from the rocks around here. Uh, this is a new tree spire? Huh, okay, I've never scanned one of those before, apparently. We have the titanium for a moon pool now. As well as the propulsion arm that we require. So, we will make ourselves a moon pool. I'm not sure how I'm going to connect it to the base. Um, but we will try our best. I'm pretty sure we already have some lube hanging out in one of these things. Yep. And we just need that lead that I just grabbed. Let's eat some shrub nuts. <laughs> And, uh, our water here. Bang, bang. Alright, cool. Now, we just need to figure out where to build this damn thing. I could build it away and use a power transmitter. Oh yeah, sorry, I was scanning for Golena out crops so I could get some titanium. There's a titanium, uh, deposit, like an actual big one right near us, but, uh, I don't have my prawn suit. So let's just go back on Gerald. All right, and where are we gonna build this thing? I wonder, is it possible to build the moon pool above and have it still connect to power? Is that a thing I can do? Because then I could land on the roof of my place with the prawn suit and get in there pretty damn easily. Oh god, uh, okay, well that's a problem though. Um, no, just, it, the four, damn it. Wait, I can't deconstruct it? Oh god. Yep, we're flooding. Uh, okay, reinforcement, reinforcement. What did that require? Uh, three titanium and a lithium. So... Hello? Lithium? Am I seriously out of lithium of all things? Oh my god. I think I had some in here, didn't I? Do I have some in here? Open storage. Oh god, these are the wrong ones. This. Did I have some in here? No? Oh my god, a lithium of all things is what I'm out of. Uh, I don't have any lithium and I don't feel like going to go search for some, so I think I'm just gonna build the, uh... Uh, the Habitat Foundation. Because it just requires lead. Where Okay, there it is. Yeah, this just requires lead, so I'm gonna get some of this out. It also requires titanium, of course, but... Hopefully one is enough. So, the foundation. We should just build it... Like... How, do, how does this work? How does this work? How does the foundation work? I don't... Remember. Can you not actually put it under things like I was imagining. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm gonna go get some lithium because I, I, I've, ne I've never really used the foundations before, so I don't actually understand how they work. All right, I got the lithium and I actually grabbed two because I realized we need one for the propulsion cannon as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and stick some reinforcement on this bad boy again. Bam. Now, very good. Constructs. 
Here we go. Moonpool's good. And it does actually connect to our base, apparently, and get powered from that. So that is dope. So that's neat. I can just put it on the roof of my base. Hello? Is there one in here? Nope, none in the command room. Control room, sorry. I just keep wanting to call it the command room, because it sounds cooler. There's not there. It's all in the scanner room again. It's always you, scanner room. Draining systems initiated. It's always you, scanner room. You're the one that always lets me down with your whole integrity. Alright, so we got the moon pool. Unfortunately, we need one fucking titanium. Uh, luckily, there's a bunch of uh, things around here that we can get. God, this is just the episode of, oh wait, I need this, 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 like... <laughs> God, all because I want to just build this stupid propulsion arm because they're just throwing it all over the damn place here, so I have to assume they want me to use it. Wait, that's enough titanium, okay, cool. I have to assume they want me to use it since they're just vomiting the damn things all over the place. That seems like a pretty clear signal to me. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Eh, why don't I just go ahead and drown? It'll be easier. You know, just just quit. Just quit now. Alright, get in there. Welcome I'll drink my, my piss. And, uh, yeah, we can, uh... Let's see, you require just a computer chip and some magnetite, so let's unpin all. Alright, computer chip. Requires gold. And copper wire. Gosh, just so much shit to keep track of. This is what happens when you build a second base, I guess. Um, alright, so computer chip. We have... Oh god, I forgot what the, what the other thing the propulsion arm required was. I know it was lithium, titanium... Is that enough? I think it required one more thing. Oh, magnetite, that's right. Yeah, magnetite. Alright, so we should have some of that, right? Somewhere. Uh, I think I have some in the thing over here. I think magnetite's one of the items I have in there. If not, I can just scan for it and it'll be around here somewhere. Please just have two magnetite. I have one. I hate you. I hate you, me. I hate you. Alright, we got our stupid magnetite. Now we can build our stupid prawn arm. And... Whop! Oh, get up there. Okay, so... Oh, wait, does this thing... It doesn't come with a fabricator? Does it not? I thought it did. You have to... Oh, yeah, you gotta make a vehicle upgrade console, that's right. Which, okay, we have everything for... But I gotta make another fucking computer chip now, and I'm gonna need more fucking titanium! Why the fuck wouldn't the moon pool just come with the vehicle upgrade console? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Gerald, can you just go ahead and eat me? Daddy's tired of life. Daddy's tired of life. Do it. Oh, he missed on purpose, you saw that. He didn't want to kill his daddy. See, look at him. He's acting like he's stuck on that crystal so he doesn't have to eat me. What a good boy. He doesn't want to kill his dad. Even though his dad was tired of life. <laughs> what a good boy. Alright, well, uh, we have the titanium we need, I believe. So let's get this fucking over with, please. God. Uh... Sure, upgrade console goes over here. Oh my god. Please just build it. Thank you. Fabricator. Uh, what am I missing? Oh yeah, I gotta make another computer chip, that's right. Ugh. This has been a process. All just on the idea that possibly I need this thing. Possibly need it. What the hell is that? I think that's just, uh... I think that's just your old roaring. Wait, what? 
the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? That was like a noise. It sounded like a like blaster pistol from s or like some sort of alien gun. All right, well that threw me for a loop, and now I'm like, wait, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, and then we need copper wire, which God, we're running out of copper. Uh, bam. For a second, I thought uh, Gerald was attacking our base, and I was a little bit scared. Teensy tiny bit scared. All right, so there we go. We got ourselves a computer chip. Now please just let me build this stupid fucking arm. Thank God. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm I'm tired of this. Let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm so done with this. Uh, in you go. Okay, we got a stupid arm. Yay. Now I just gotta swim past Gerald, get back to our prawn suit. I don't even care, man. Eat me, I don't give a shit anymore. Like I said, daddy's tired of living. He doesn't want to live anymore. But you refused to eat him, you good boy. <laughs> you said no, daddy, you can't die. I still need you. Oh man, are we gonna beat him or are we gonna run right into him? We are about to run right into him. Alright, alright, big guy. I'm just gonna circumvent you. That's cool. Can I just go under here like this? Yeah? Uh, can I please see? Stupid crystals growing all over the damn place. Where's my damn... Where's my exoquasi? Oh god, is that what happened? Oh god, is that what happened? No. No. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. No. <laughs> oh my god, it destroyed my fucking prawn suit. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. I had every piece I needed in there. No fucking way that was that noise. Oh my god. God. It lasted so long, too, and then the Leviathan just happened to see it and was like, alright, I'm gonna get it. Oh, fuck off. That's what that was? God. Mmm. God damn it. God fucking damn it. <sighs> oh, God. That had all the pieces I needed for the, yeah, it's it's not on my beacon, right? Yup, yup, it destroyed my goddamn prawn suit. It lasted so long, this is all because there was like 50 million fucking things I had to do for you to make this stupid goddamn propulsion arm, you piece of shit. I hate you, I hate you. <sighs> oh my god, alright, well, I'm gonna get everything back together and go make a new fucking prawn suit, I guess. <sighs> we are back, and my mistakes have been mostly undone. We have a new prawn suit. I have basically every upgrade I had for it before, except for the jump jet upgrade, because, uh... Oh, wait, sea truck crush depth now. Okay, I was like, wait, that's weird. Um... So... We got basically every upgrade for it that we need, except the jump jet upgrade. Why does it say you have a worse max depth now? Why? No, it still says a thousand. Okay, that was, that was just a weird bug, I guess. All right, so yeah, we got the propulsion arm. We have that. I did make the drill arm, because frankly, I don't think we'll need it again. Uh, but we got our grapple arm. We don't have the jump jet upgrade anymore, but we got the basic jump jet. I, I couldn't make it because I didn't have enough nickel. 
So, yeah, we've got everything we need. I just need to go over here and grab uh, all the shit we need to make the body. Um, so I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. So let's put all of this junk away. We have no need for any of this. Maybe I should take my damn gas torpedoes with me and put the torpedo arm on. Uh, just in case we run into anything hairy. You know what? Screw it. Let's take them. In case of emergency. Alright, so yeah. Oh, that was a that was a stressful moment. Just had to go back and grind up everything to make another prawn suit and all the upgrades for it, which was uh, a pretty big pain in the ass, I must say. A pretty big pain in the ass, but whatever. I caused this. So let's go ahead and get all of you out. Uh, oh yeah, we do need our nickel, which is in here, and uh, kyanite. And I think I'm just gonna carry it on my person this time. That way if any of my vehicles get destroyed, the objects don't just fucking disappear. Um, so let's see here. Uh, Kyanite. Boom, boom, boom. And we need nickel. Which should be in here. I think I had three nickel in here. I think that was the last three nickel I had. Uh, in here. Please tell me I had three. I did have three. Okay, and we can make everything that we need, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, <sighs> my goodness. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Uh, you. I need you. And uh, I wanna switch your arms around. Where's your, where's your arm? There we go. Access upgrades. Let's put the torpedo arm in, on instead of the propulsion for now. And we will load you with these gas boys. Just in case I need them. There we go. Okay, and now that we have everything, let's get back in here and let's actually explore this episode. I know, what a wild... What a wild idea. Never heard of that before. Alright, where the hell is the Shadow Leviathan? He's over there. Alright, let's just go. I'm ready to make some actual fucking progress now that I have been set back repeatedly this episode. The title of this episode will be a series of unfortunate events. Unless I actually find the shit I need this episode, in which case I'll name it something else. Okay, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I think, like, when you die, like, especially if you have shit in your, like, suit, I'm pretty sure it just disappears. So that's why this especially sucked. Because I just lost all of my stuff. Like, all of it. You don't see me, right? You don't see me. You don't see me. Yeah, he didn't see me. All right. Just keep going right past him. Okay, and we're just gonna keep going this away until we see some new shit. I'm actually gonna get out of here really quickly to, uh... Need to repair this a bit. Just in case uh, our other friend comes by and decides to bite us. I want to make sure we live through the <clears throat> ordeal. Alright, yeah, and I'm just gonna keep exploring this place until I see something new. Let's see, you're back that way. Where do we have to go to make more progress? Because this... This place does go further. Is it down here? That doesn't really lead to shit. Just back to you. Okay, well, let's go this way. This is at least away from the other Leviathan, so it's got to be towards somewhere new, right? I mostly just want to find the place I went to last time and then continue past it, because I'm pretty sure I could continue past it. Pretty sure I could. 
Okay, but where and how? Let's try this way. Like I said, I don't super remember where I went. This is going up. This is not what we need. Where the hell was that place? Can you not get to it from this location? Like, do I have to go a different way? That would really suck if so. Hmm. It might be the case, though. I might have came, like, the wrong way. And I gotta go the same exact way I went last time, actually. Which was, like... Across... To the left? If I remember correctly. Where are you at, dude? Can you hurry your ass up? I'm just gonna squeeze right by you here. I think. Okay, you're, like, right there. Let's go all the way down here. And chill. Oh god, you see me. Okay, go away. Go away. Alright, out of here. Go. Okay, the sea truck took the hit pretty damn well, I gotta say. It took the hit pretty damn well, so I don't think I really have much to be scared of. Unless it just, like, chain combos me. Which is a possibility, I suppose. Is definitely a possibility. So we'll have to be careful of that, but other than that, I think we're pretty much fine. So, yeah. Let's just continue on our merry way over here. Yeah, I think this is the way I went before, because this went deeper. Yes. Okay, and let's get out and repair the sea truck. Boom. Come on, repair, repair. And boom. There we go. Cool. So, uh, now we continue forward. And I just have to watch out for the other Shadow Leviathan because there was another one around here. I think I'm going to do like I did last time and just stay as low as possible. And just kind of skirt along the bottom here. That way, if he is about, then he won't see us. What's down here, eh, guys? It's just, uh, an ore area, I think. I hear you. You're around, I hear you. I think we're coming up on the place. Yeah, yeah, this is the place. Where we went, like, down... Yeah, okay. So if we go past this, what do we find? Anything? Was this a whole ordeal for naught? Was that the only thing down here? I Because if this is the only thing down here, then I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Because this was kind of the only idea I had. This is the only place I've seen that goes this deep. So, if we can't go, like, deeper past this area, then I just don't know, man. What's over here? Does this go even further? Looks like it might. Yes? Would you guys stop running into my damn sea truck? Just get out of the damn way, alright? Okay. This looks like it could be promising. Oh yeah, this is a new biome. Okay. Okay, is there anything that wants to kill us here? I don't see anything. Alright, let's get out. Yeah, these are like new crystals. These are like new crystals. So what, what do you got? Can I scan you? I cannot. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Is this where the fabrication facility actually is? Please tell me it is. Yeah, we haven't been this deep before. This is some very interesting architecture. Is the music changing? The music's changing. 
never mind. Okay, no, that is new music. Alright, well, I, I got shit that I need to find. This is very, very cool looking crystal architecture down here, I gotta say. What are you guys? Hi? Eclipse plant. Well, I don't like that music. Can you quit that? Can you quit that? Oh, okay, but now that the beat's coming in, I'm like, yeah. Alright. Um, boom. Get in there. So, I'm gonna look at our databank stuff, because we got a little bit. The architect organs are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material, containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpus, while also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible computational power at the architect brain. No respiration or digestive systems appear to be present, suggesting a life that is fed entirely by sustained electrical energy, and a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect body to the possibility of disease. Yeah, because they still want some biological components. Tree spire. As hot gas pushed upwards through the plant's crust over thousands of years, this densely packed magnesium-aluminum-rich rock branched and split, resulting in these striking tree-like vent structures. The ecosystem that emerged in and around these vents is largely driven by the presence of chemosynthetic life forms, which ultimately attract, attracted the vibrant thermophilic coral seen lining the spire's branches. Flora, see? Eclipse plant. This distinctive vibrant plant is often found growing out of a green crystal outcropping that appears to be similar to jade. Yeah, I guess it does seem similar to jade. As I actually look at it. Alright, deep, deep, deep. We going deep. It is, uh, very pretty down here. I gotta say. If nothing else, it's very, very pretty. I'd build a house down here, you know? Be a, be a very pretty house. Oh, hey, nickel. I should grab some of that. I'm quite low. Quite low on the nickel. Are you new? Or you're just the red feather fish again? Huh. Hey, interesting little environment. Not really anything uh, scary here yet. But an interesting environment nonetheless. Uh, I stand corrected. Where was that? I don't know. Ah, there he is. Okay. Well, we're just going to avoid you, big guy. If we can. Get the fuck out of the way, you stupid tiny fish. Jesus. I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. Okay, there's a substantial facility in the area. That's what we want to hear. That is definitely, definitely what we want to hear. Unfortunately, this jackass is here. Hey, go away. You're not my baby Gerald. You're not my baby Gerald. Go away. Out of here. Stop pouring your jizz all over me. Go. Go away. I'm on my way, all right? To Viridian City. On the way to Viridian City, city. Sorry, singing helps calm the nerves. Oh my god, there's a fucking another one? Holy shit. This place is crawling with you assholes. Can I get somewhere safe so I can at least, like, heal up the old sea truck here? Oh god, he's like right behind us, isn't he? Fuck! Stupid asshole, go away! Oh my god, we're about to die. Go, sea truck. You can make it. You can make it, I believe. Gambate and all that. Alright. Are you coming this way? Let's hope not. I'll fight you away with my knife if I gotta. I'll pull a marguerite on your ass. Alright. 
That was, uh... That was sketchy. I'll be honest. Please re fucking repair the thing. Okay, this is not the time to be missing with your fucking repair tool. I'm not even sure how the hell you can do that. Oh, this thing repairs slow as hell. This ain't the time to be taking a long time to repair something, alright? We're still good, though. We're still good. I'm gonna be pissed if I went through the struggle of building that propulsion arm. Thinking that it, we were probably gonna have an obstacle that we needed the propulsion arm to get rid of. And then it's not even a thing. They were just like, well, we need something to put down here, right? Ooh, how about, how about one of them propulsion arms? And then, like, it's nothing. It's fucking nothing. Alright, what? I came over here, but is there even anything here? Doesn't look like it, honestly. Okay, um, let's just try to go back down. We're gonna have to go back towards the Leviathans again, unfortunately. Because, yeah, I don't see anything over here. Oh no, the Leviathans over there. But I don't see shit over here. This is just like a wall. And unfortunately, Alan is useless in giving me any sort of, uh, like, direction to where this place is. He just sensed it. That was it. Sorry, I don't mean to be mean to Alan, but... Kind of risking both of our hides here. So I'm under a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. So, could, could you guys have put down, like, some fucking markers or something to let me know where this place is? You think your, uh, you know, your facility where you build your damn bodies would be a bit easier to find. Also, why the hell would you build it all the way down here with these giant monsters? That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Okay, well, we're almost at the max depth for this thing, so... Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it. Where is this place? <laughs> like I said, it would be very helpful if I got, like, any sort of hint or idea of where to go. But instead, I'm just kind of swimming around in water with Leviathans, hoping I stumble across something. He just said, oh, it's in the area. Trust me, I, I'm scanning it. I am very smart because I'm a collective AI. But I haven't seen shit yet. And luckily, I can just keep doing this garbage where I pull over here, repair, and we're good. But, like, usually there's, like, little alien fucking lanterns. Why didn't they put some of those around, huh? I'm already swimming in the water with all of these jackasses. I don't really need any other hurdles to finding your stupid base thing. Oh my god, and he's fucking coming back because of course his big, dumb jackass is. Yeah, I see you, giant fuck. Yeah, haha, -ha, yeah, ooh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking spew my seed all over you. Great. Now, can you fucking go? Obviously, you can't eat me, you stupid fuck. Dumbass. Like, look, there's two of them. There's fucking two of them just hanging out here, and it's like, Alan's like, I don't know, man, find it. I don't know. I'm a collective AI and I'm so smart, but I don't even know where the fuck my body was made. You're useless to me, Alan. Hey, where the fuck do these things swim above? I want to repair this again because we're looking a little hurt. But I also don't want this stupid idiot to come- I really wish we could just repair this fucking thing from the inside. I mean, why do I gotta get out to do it? Yeah, I'm complaining. I'm salty. It's been a long fucking episode. Get in. I heard you. I heard you, you big fuck. You out there? Huh? Maybe I should just go out in my fucking prawn suit rather than this thing. Of course, the prawn suit, it would be harder to evade these stupid things. I, I don't know. Let's go in the prawn suit. Well, I have the torpedoes in this thing, which... Oh, God. Wait, what? Why? Oh, my God! 
What the fuck? I thought the prawn suit only had one, uh... I thought the prawn suit only had one upgrade. My prawn suit's not good enough? Oh, fucking hell, man. I thought the prawn suit only had one depth upgrade. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Okay, the prawn suit's not even good enough then. Um... Oh boy. Oh boy, I thought it was just one upgrade. I didn't know it was fucking two. I could have sworn it was just one depth upgrade. The prawn suit can already go super fucking deep. That's why it was saying... Why was it saying sea truck, though? It was saying sea truck, wasn't it? Okay, well, I guess we gotta just search around in this fucking thing, because... We certainly can't do it in the prawn suit, because the prawn suit can't go deep enough. God damn it. This is, this is frustrating the hell out of me right now. All these minor mistakes with me adding up is just- is just getting frustrating. And I'm stuck down here. And I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Because Alan gave us nothing. Alan's just like, I don't know. It's nearby, I guess. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. Please save me. I'm useless, so please save me. Ugh. My god. I don't even know where I'm- where I'm, like, at anymore. Like, I... I can't find out where I'm at around here. Luckily, even though the prawn suit's crouch depth is pretty low, if- if I need to use the propulsion arm like I thought, I can still use it. If need be. Oh my god, are you coming over here, you stupid fuck? Where are you going? Where are you going? Turn around. I'm just trying to explore this environment, alright? Just let me explore the fucking environment. Why are you doing loop-de-loops and shit? Just go. With your ass clipping in the environment. Look at you. Don't even know how to control that big-ass body you got. Okay, you explore, like, just that area. Basically, it looks like. Okay, can we, like... Sneak past you and go in here? There's nothing over there. There's nothing over there. And there's another one right here! Because of course there is! Because of fucking course there is! <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna die again, aren't I? Let's just head this way. Let's hope I can get away from these stupid assholes, at least. Oh my god. This is super frustrating. Like, I'm just aimlessly exploring, trying to find something I have no idea where it's at. Seek fluid intake. Fuck you. I'll drink my own piss in a second. Like, why are there no other- no, none of the beacons? Why are there none of the things that, like, tell me, hey, this is the way you gotta go, man. Why is there none of that? <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, I see you, I see you. Do you see me? Of course you see me. Hi! There you go, go through your, your little grabby animation. Okay, I'll be on your fucking way. Please. My god. Stupid asshole. Alright, well, we checked out this corner. Time to go back over here and see what's at this corner, eh? I'm guessing it's just not in this, like, big room that I've been in? I think there was another way to go. Maybe it was over there? Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yup, ooh, I'm spitting my goop all over ya. Spitting my goop all over ya. Ooh, very scary, very scary Shadow Leviathan. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm hitting that point in, uh, horror games that people hit a lot, where they just cease being scared. Basically, and they're just frustrated instead. And, uh, I've hit that point. That is definitely the point I am currently at. 
No longer scared, just frustrated. Because every single time I get hit by one of those jackasses, I gotta get out and repair this thing. I just don't understand where this stupid place Alan is talking about is. I really don't. Like, now would have been a fantastic time to actually tell me what the hell I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be going. But instead, it's just like, no. Just find. No hint, only find. What, what is that? That that goes deep, right? Is this an area I've already been before? It's kind of hard to tell where I'm at in this area because it's just very, very confusing. Where I have and haven't been, I just don't know. I just don't know. Can we hide here or do you see us here? Of course, fucking course you see us here. Is there anywhere we can hide where you guys don't see us? Like, you patrol fucking everywhere because there's two of you. Like, where the fuck am I supposed to go to get away from you jackasses? And now my goddamn sea truck's stuck. God damn it. This is just annoying. Like, my sea truck is just in constant need of repair. Oh my god. It's so hard to just explore. Because these things are just gonna keep attacking me. I have to get out. Yeah, I see you giant fuck. I don't- yeah, make all your stupid noise hit me. I'll just goddamn repair it with my magic technology that you're too stupid to understand. So get the fuck away from me. I'm trying to do things. Dumb fucking animals. Alright, uh... Was there a way to go over here? Or am I just once again walking into another area where I've already been before, but I can't fucking tell because this place is confusing as hell. I'm trying to go back towards my marker here. Hoping that this takes me to, like, back. Okay, cool. It is. Thank you. Fucking thank you. Squeeze your fat ass through there. Go. <laughs> Stupid sea truck. Stop taking up so much fucking space. I'm just trying to do things. My god. Well, I would think that the place is down there where there's two shadow leviathans for no fucking reason, seemingly. But, um... I'm also not totally sure. Oh god. The repair tool ran out of battery. Well, isn't that just dandy? I mean, I could, I could take the battery out of something else. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't care if it has no power. Stop. Select the one I want to select. There we go. Oh God, this is this this is a this is an annoying video. This has been an annoying video through and through this entire time. Okay. I think this is where I came in. I think this is where I came in. So, I think there was another path on, like, this side that was the same sort of biome? Right? Or am I crazy? Could very well be crazy. But I thought there was another way we could go over here. Is there? Or is that the only biome? Like, I feel like Alan's saying, like, he didn't say it out here, he said it over there, so... I feel like this is probably just gonna lead away from what I want. Yeah, I... 
I thought there was more to the cave. Like, maybe there was another entrance over here that went somewhere different. Or something. I, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what I'm thinking anymore. I'm just trying to live. And I'm so fucking tired of these tiny fish just running into my goddamn ship. Sea truck thing. <sighs> okay, how about we review the message from Alan and see what the fuck it was, useless thing he actually said. I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area unable to identify. Then what use are you? What use are you, Alan? I, I, I shouldn't even give you your body back. I know I'm being mean to Alan, alright? I know. He doesn't deserve this, but... God damn it, man. We would already be out of here if you just knew where the hell your body was made. Alright, back to hell, I suppose. You know what, why don't we just go ahead... We've seen- we've seen me do this a fair few times now. Why don't we just go ahead and fucking cut? Until I figure something out. Because this is- this is just me traveling around getting eaten by these stupid shits. And nothing's really happening. So, when I see something new or see something different, I will be back. Aha! Aha, that's gotta be fucking it. Now, why the fuck didn't you guys have some beacons leading to this piece of shit? Huh? Wait, what? What? I found it, but I can't get in? What is this garbage? Where are you at? Oh god, you're right fucking there. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You done? You done? You get a good taste? You get a- you get a good taste? Cool. Now let me fucking go. Stupid thing. Alright, so apparently we can't get in there. Which is... <laughs> fantastic. That's fantastic, I love that. I finally found the place and they're like, Oh, but now there's a wall blocking it. What you gonna do now, huh? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. Like, come on, man. You guys haven't put glass anywhere yet. Why the fuck is there just a barrier blocking me now all of a sudden, Alan? Why isn't it just like the green force field thing that I walk through? <sighs> Large crystal formation. Yay. Lore. Large red barrel formation. Yippee. I'm happy to learn. Alright, so what the fuck did I have to do to actually get in that place? And what are you doing? Are you just hanging out there now? Like, that's gotta be the location I've gotta go in, right? But why did my sea truck just bounce off the fucking thing? Alright, here it is, here it is, here it is. Now, what the fuck? What do I do? What the fuck do I do? Let me in. Once you have used okay. the data to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Yeah, well, maybe you should have told me where the fuck this place was, you stupid cunt. Also, that Leviathan's probably just gonna eat my goddamn shit right now. Oh my god. Fucking make it. Oh yeah, I, I don't- I put it in the thing. Go- jump. Please. I'm so tired of this, Robin. Alright, what the fuck did I put it in? Did I put it in you? No! I didn't want to get in the fucking sea truck! Open storage. Give me all of this stupid shit. Alan, you're gonna get your fucking body, and you're gonna like it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Fucking eat it. I don't... I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just leave me one of them so I can get out of this shithole. Fabricator. So, um, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. 
As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Perhaps I will. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm doing it, man. Believe me. Believe me, I want to be out of here as much as you do. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. Uh. Necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Oh god, I'm sorry I got tilted there, but like... I was just like, now I, now I see it, I'm like, okay, yeah, we had to come in here with our body or whatever because we got our fucking sea truck stuck in here that we wouldn't be able to get it out. But it was the combination of just appearing at this place and me trying to go in here with the Leviathan right behind me. I didn't want to die because I had all the stuff on me. So I was scared to just like run from the Leviathan into here. So I'm like, why, why won't it just let me pull in a little bit here to where it's safe and then get out? But it wouldn't let me do that. Like, I had to sit my sea truck out there, which it could still be destroyed now, mind you. And I, I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> it's stressing me out. Like, I wish it would let me just, like, there was a little bit more water, like, right to here. So I would at least have a little corridor to be safe from the leviathans out there in, because that thing was definitely camping the door there for a bit. And it seems like because there's so much geometry in this environment, they can get, like stuck on it really easy and have a hard time going back to their regular paths and it's also really hard just to navigate the environment in the sea truck because there's just so much shit you can run into but yeah apologies for getting tilted but god i was stressed out i i had a lot of unfortunate things happening this episode and quite frankly i'm just happy to be done with this area commencing storage the escape of the bacteria was an accident I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Whoa, the architects look really cool. Wow, you look super cool. Ooh, scan. Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. All right. Well, we're going to not let you in your body yet because we're going to read this. The complete physical architect vessel is a bio biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid, incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. Skin. The outer layer of tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy powered by the alien's internal biotechnological heart. Robotic arms. Alan has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation. These arms contain independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently. The organic l arms are considered secondary to the organic robot arm. The organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robot arms. These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. The plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildup like capacitors. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be a secondary mode of movement for this architect form. This architect body is able, uh, able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely that architect body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. So they're like the, uh, I forgot what they were called in the first game, but like, they were the things that teleported you. I forgot what those were called. Matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. 
Chromium boar of cult whale prime, an invasive species known for their extremely tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. Putty serpent of apost aposticar. The snake has extremely tensile skin, prevents it from tearing, and allows it to compress itself into small places. Electric eel of lithton. Generates an electrically charged slime along across its edge. Astral rays, moons of Mardon 14. These rays have small organs that generate and store electricity. Shaggy goats of Olympion. These herbivorous creatures live on the rocky foothills of the mountain planet Olympion and are excellent climbers. Giant geckos of Holt's asteroid. Massive geckos that emit an electrostatic charge on its foot pads. This creates a charge difference in the surface the gecko is climbing. The markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. Large Barrel, Red Barrel form Formation. Red Barrel is an extremely rare mineral. These crystal formations are abnormally large and suggest a very specific geochemical environment. In order for these crystals to form, the surrounding water must be rich with beryllium. The environment must be very hot, between 300 and 650 degrees Celsius, and there must be surface fractures or cavities for the distinct formations to emerge. All right, well, that's interesting. All right, I had to go grab some something to drink and a small snack after all this. I did get very tilted. I feel I was warranted in some ways, but a lot of it was my fault. A lot of the issues we were having and just screw ups. So it's, it's not completely on the game, but I still don't like that area. Just the two leviathans chilling. You have to find this like small little cave and then you get over there and the leviathan's like right behind you and it's like, okay, now you got to get out of your thing and you got to go in and hope that your shit doesn't get destroyed. So yeah, but let's go talk to Alan. I like these parts of the game. Wow, he's really tall, by the way. He's really tall. Yeah, let's get an actual look, look at the body. So yeah, you're quadruped. You're like a centaur. Basically, that's cool. And it said you had robo arms too, but I only see two arms. It's such a cool design, I gotta say. Like, it's a really, really cool design for the uh, architect body. Like, it just looks super, super awesome. I'm glad we're finally getting to see one because we saw all their technology in the first game, but we didn't actually see what they look like. But yeah, this is super cool. All right. I'm not sure if this is the end of the game or not. I'm, I imagine we still probably got to get off the planet, right? Did it work? Are we? It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Ah, oh, there's your robo arms. <clears throat> You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. 
Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we got a gate. Uh, give me one sec. Apparently, during that cutscene, I had something dropped off at my door. Alright, so do we have like a log of that conversation? Yeah, okay. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But it would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back here? I don't know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld such information does not concern you- Wait, their- Their dialogue's mixed up. It was Robin that said, can I help, not Alan. And Robin does not say, the fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. Yeah, okay, so their, their dialogue's mixed up. Uh, okay, so... No bacteria? Yeah, okay, that's weird. So, I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Can we talk to you again? Please. I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. Alright, so now we gotta meet him at the gate base. Is there anything cool we can get from in here, maybe? God, the end of this video has been a long time coming. Alright, well, it looks like Quasi Jr. in the prawn suit are still good, and it looks like next time we finally have a new objective. We have successfully repaired Alan and everything, so... Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end this one off here. Sorry for the salt, sorry for the tilt, but uh, I was very stressed, so... Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.